five woods fires in three different counties across our area. They're officially contained, but because of the dry conditions out there, some do continue to burn this afternoon. None of these fires threatening homes or buildings, though, thankfully. Channel 4's Heather Lee is in Clay County, just east of Penny Farms. Heather, are officials still out there keeping an eye on this one? Well, they are going to continue to monitor the situation. I haven't seen any officials out here actually battling any flames. There are no flames as far as I can see out here right now, but they are going to continue to keep an eye on this one. And you can see just how bad this fire was. This is a pine cone that was pretty badly burnt, and that's really the story all over here. You can see just how high this fire got, how high the flames got because of the burn marks on the tree here. And this goes on for more than 200 acres or about 200. Acres, I should say. Uh, and again, you can see that just basically all of the vegetation that was on the floor is wiped out. So, according to the Florida Forest Service, an active fire is a fire that is both actively burning and uncontained, or it may be contained by fire lines but still have. Hot, or, but it's still hot and smoking or smoldering, and even though there are no active flames. So fires are listed as an active uh, fire until they are completely out and cold with no smoking or smoldering, and until a fire is called out, it is carefully monitored by firefighters, which is what is happening out here right now. Now, a fire on the south side near JTB caught the eye of many people in the area yesterday. This is video of the smoke, and uh, you can see it was a pretty big uh, plume of smoke that you could see for miles. Uh, the Florida Forest Service says this was not a controlled burn and they are trying to figure out what started the fire. Now, I'm going to be speaking with those officials shortly here to get more information on this fire as well as the uh, other ones that are burning in our area. And of course, once I get that new information, I'm going to bring that to you tonight. But you can always check our website, newsforjacks.com, for updates as they become available. For now, we're live in Clay County, Heather Lee, Channel 4, the local station.